The instrument cluster can be removed without removing the steering wheel. If you're adding a new cluster, you will need to code it to your vehicle. Begin by moving the steering wheel as low and as far back as it will go. Starting by the door, use a trim removal tool and pry off the dash end cap red arrows. For future reference, the cap will contain some tools used to replace your fuses. Use a T20 torque and remove the two screws holding the vent to the dash, red arrows. Slide the vent slightly towards the door and wiggle it out from the dash. You can leave the vent connected and hang it out of the way, but if you want more room to work, remove the electrical connection from its mount on the vent, red arrow, and use a pick to press in on the tiny tab, blue arrow, and separate the connection. You can remove the trim surround around the key separately, but I like to remove it together with the lower trim surround. There is an LED light in there and this helps it not break. Use a trim removal tool and start separating the lower trim piece from the dash red arrows. Working on the passenger side of the steering column, use a trim removal tool and gently pry out the dash trim piece. You can remove this piece without removing the vent. The red arrow indicates the locating holes. Use your trim removal tool and start behind the dash surround. Gently pry the piece away from the dash. Use the trim removal tools and work your way around the lower piece separating it from the dash. Once it is free, pull it forward and separate the wiring connection for the interior temperature sensor indicated by the red arrow. This image shows the location of the two locating clips. They are the same on both sides. Once free, pull the trim surround away from the dash and reach in and separate the wiring connection for the ignition light switch, red arrow. There are two tabs holding the trim surround to the steering column lower trim piece, red arrows. There is a release access hole on each side of the lower trim column piece. You can turn the steering wheel to access these, but if you are just gently squeeze in on the upper piece by the tab, red arrow, and the trim surround will easily release. With everything free, remove the lower trim surround. Next, remove the upper surround piece, red arrow. This image shows the location of the retaining mounts and the four clips, red arrows. Use a magnetic T20 torque and remove the screws, red arrows. Make sure you do not drop these screws down into the dash. You can now pull the cluster forward. Press in on the tab, red arrow, and pull the orange lever down on the electrical connection on the driver's side. As the lever comes down, it will walk the connection out from the dash. Separate the connection from the passenger side of the cluster, red arrow, and then remove the cluster from the dash. Installation is the reverse of removal. If you are installing a new cluster, you will have to have it coded to your vehicle. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.